The tight uniforms of professional baseball players do them no justice. If they carry an extra few pounds, there's no place to hide them. As rotund players like Bartolo Colon are seen in news images, it's natural to ask, why are baseball players fat? You've probably heard about Andrew Rector, the New York Yankees fan caught napping in the stands by a TV camera during a Yankees-Red Sox game. Tell you what, how comfortable is that? Probably won't have any neck problems tomorrow. <laughs> he sued Major League Baseball, the Yankees, ESPN, and its announcers, John Cruck and Dan Schulman, for being called a fatty cow and other vituperative utterances, whatever that means, on the air. But has John Cruck taken a good look at some of the players on the Yankees bench, like CC Sabathia, 290 pounds, or Freddie Garcia, 255 pounds, or even Alex Rodriguez, 225 pounds? Baseball is the only American sport played with real American bodies. Some snarky sports critics who fat shame the players and fans alike are delusional and very, very wrong about the sport they claim to love. Baseball has never been about good nutritional choices or Herculean physiques. I don't like baseball, it's my game. You know, you take your worries to the park and you leave them there. You yell like crazy for your guy. It's good for your lungs. Nobody calls the cops. A 2010 Harvard University survey analyzing body mass index, or BMI, found that more than 55% of professional baseball players are overweight. Admittedly, BMI may not be the best gauge, because many professional athletes have huge BMIs due more to muscle mass than fat. But take a long, honest look at the bodies in the typical MLB dugout, and it's pretty clear there are more beer guts than six-pack abs. Like it or not, the fatties of baseball are in the majority. Baseball is unique among American sports traditions. It favors strength and power training at the complete expense of aerobics, and encourages participants to be comfortable in whatever size elastic waistband pants they happen to wear as a result. One could argue that football players can be just as chunky, maybe more so. But football is a sport of bodies in motion. Players have to move up and down the field, and rest periods are short. Baseball doesn't reward conditioning. Unless players are trying to stretch a double into a triple or toss a complete game, fitness doesn't matter a whole lot. And it shows in their bodies. As Terry Forster, who weighed 270 pounds while pitching for the Atlanta Braves, once told David Letterman, a waist is a terrible thing to mind. When ESPN the magazine's annual body issue came out, its cover featured all 275 naked pounds of Texas Rangers first baseman Prince Fielder. At first, the reaction on Twitter was predictable, with mean-spirited tweets like, Prince Fielder looks like all of my uncles, and please, please, please make it stop! It inspired photoshopped memes of naked Fielder reaching for Ben and Jerry's and such. But then came the compliments, with people calling him an inspiration and our new body image hero. His bold self-embracement reinvigorated an old Twitter hashtag honoring extra-wide male sex symbols, hashtag Husky Twitter. A unique disconnect has always existed between baseball success and skinniness. In 1930, Chicago Cubs center fielder Hack Wilson set a still-standing record while standing 5'6 and weighing one pound less than the number of runs he batted in that year, 191. Babe Ruth achieved a record-shattering 714 home runs, 2,214 RBIs, a 690 slugging percentage, and 29.2 consecutive scoreless World Series innings. Ruth's weight, which fluctuated between 215 and a reported 265 pounds, actually helped him pelt the ball. Even though he once reportedly downed 12 hot dogs and 8 bottles of soda between games, nobody called him a fatty cow at the time. At least nobody rooting for the New York Yankees during his stellar years there. About three, four weeks later, I, I, was, uh, I was doing my research for Dynasty in the bowels of Yankee Stadium. This is Peter Gullenbach, the author of seven bestsellers about the New York Yankees. He said that if you're a fat guy and you can hit or pitch, then you can play. If you have one really outstanding skill, they'll forgive the others. Wilson didn't have to be fast to drive in lots of runs. 
Sabathia, being in the American League, doesn't ever have to bat or run. There have always been larger, overweight players. And they seem to get the fans focused, because everyone in the stands is convinced that they can play as well and run as fast as they can. The average weight of a Major League Baseball player is over 200 pounds, with a height of 6 foot 2 inches. This returns a BMI result of 26.6, which is overweight. As this is the average result, that means there are of course other players who are lighter, but also ones that are much heavier. Historically, there have always been big baseball players. The sport doesn't require huge levels of fitness or stamina, as there are no large distances to cover. There is no end-to-end -end action like basketball has. Players can spend much of the game sitting, so it would be easy for some players to let their BMI rise up. Having said that, there would seem to be an inherent need for a baseball player to be bigger than a soccer player, for example. The extra weight an MLB player carries is put behind their swing when looking to send the ball out of the park. Here's the pitch. It's going, going, it's in there. A new Major League record. 61 home runs by Roger Maris.